hi to all of you we will be discussing uh, in these series of videos the metabolic errors and uh, this video will encompass the defects and diseases of the nucleic acid metabolism we will be uh, discussing gout lichnayen syndrome uh, sid and uh, some other diseases which are related to the nucleic acid metabolism to begin this lecture let's have a brief uh, introduction about the metabolic defects and errors these metabolic defects or errors are categorized as the enzyme defects usually that affect the biochemical and metabolic pathways and uh, they usually encompass the effects uh, which are mediated through the impairing in the metabolism of certain micromolecules which are proteins fats carbohydrates and nucleic acids sometimes the defective enzyme also affects the organelle function as well like for example mitochondrial function is affected or um, lysosomal function is affected so these metabolic errors are usually presented as the complicated uh, medical conditions which involve several human organ uh, systems so if an enzyme defect is there it is um, reflected uh, via affecting a certain kinds of an organ system particularly by which we can diagnose the metabolic errors so metabolic errors usually encompass a great complexity of underlying pathophysiology and biochemical workup as well as molecular analysis so you can uh, diagnose it and they have a complicated therapeutic option for the management as well so this uh, is a little introduction about the how we can define a metabolic error or a metabolic defect for the nucleic acids uh, several kinds of metabolic errors have been associated with so they are due to uh, defect in enzyme which are catalyzing critical reactions in the nucleic acid metabolism whether that's a de novo pathway a salvage pathway or a degradation pathway any uh, of the enzyme uh, involved in any of the pathway can have a defect which leads to the uh, metabolic error of the nucleic acid or it may be due to the uh, accumulation or the lack of certain critical metabolites as well or uh, due to change uh, in the normal metabolism uh, taking a different route by different kinds of metabolites which are synthesized during uh, the nucleic acid metabolism so these are three ways by which uh, the metabolic errors of the nucleic acids can uh, reflect uh, in the human body and mostly it is due to the defect in enzyme or due to the accumulation of the uh, uncommon metabolites of all the defects uh, which are associated with nucleic acid metabolism gout is the most common uh, disease uh, it's actually a group of disorders um, which are resulted uh, due to impaired excretion or overproduction of the end product of purine metabolism that is uric acid uh, classically uh, it was actually uh, seen as a disorder which affected mostly the greek alcoholics who drank their alcohol from the lead goblets so it was a uh, manifestation of the lead poisoning but classically now uh, we will see that uric acid when it goes beyond uh, serum level in the human body it uh, deposits as crystals of monosodium urate and then these crystals precipitate in the joints uh, uh, which leads to the gouty arthritis as you can see in the accompanying picture usually the extremities on uh, toes are the most common one which are affected by these uh, precipitations uh, um, as well as kidneys and ureters which can where it can lead to stone formation deposits uh, actually lead to the formation of a specialized secondary structure which is a tophi tophi in the joints leads to inflammation and uh, it causes chemotaxis of the certain granulocytes as well which try to invade the soft tissue try to um, phagocytize this tophi but because this tophi is a uh, inorganic uh, crystal it, the granulocytes uh, uh, do not uh, succeed in um, phagocytizing it and which in turn leads to the formation of a flare flare is because of the production of the reactive oxygen species uh, by these phago uh, cytotic and further because of the change in the environment and because of overproduction of the reactive oxygen species and because of the certain uh, chemokines 
what happens in the, the environment around these TOFI change uh, and lactate uh, production in the sino joints increases with this uh, and that there is a decrease in the pH which fosters for the deposition of the sodium crystals so it is a cyclic process uh, in which there is a chemotaxis change in environment lactate production decreases in pH and then more and more deposition of the sodium monosodium urate crystals into the uh, synovial joints which in turn uh, will lead to an inflammation uh, further on gout is classified as primary and secondary primary is due to cumulative defect in the purine metabolism and regulation leading to the increased synthesis of purines and hence then their degradation is increased leading to the overproduction of the uric acid Secondary uh, reasons are from the degradation of uh, cancerous cells, polycythemia or renal efficiency where uh, kidneys are not able to uh, take the load of the uric acid which is being produced in the human body. So all these defects can lead to increase in the uh, uric acid which is called as hyperuricemia and hence uh, lead to gout. How gout is managed is by uh, utilization of certain drugs which inhibit the specific degradation pathway, especially the xanthine oxidase uh, inhibitors, which are uh, used to inhibit the production of uric acid. And this is the modality for treating gout symptoms. Uh, for particularly, adoprenol is used, uh, which uh, blocks the xanthine oxidase and uh, prevents the conversion into the uric acid. Uh, second is the colchicine treatment which is used to decrease the movement of granulocytes into the affected area and hence prevent the uh, flare and prevent the uh, reactive oxygen species from being produced. And Febexus uh, treatment is nowadays utilized which inhibits uh, the xanthine oxidase much more evidently than the aloperinol. So all these drugs are used for the management of gout nowadays. Uh, however, in human body, there is another uh, kind of an gout which is called as pseudo gout. It is named as pseudo gout because it is not related to the nucleic acid metabolism. It is, uh, however, related to the calcium metabolism. Here, the uh, crystals of calcium pyrophosphate are created, which lead to the inflammatory arthritis by their deposition in the synovial fluid. Furthermore, the difference uh, is that these uh, crystals usually uh, affect the knee joint where they usually cause calcification of the cartilage of the knee, um, which can be um, examined by a radiological examination. And as I told you, it is not a disorder of purine metabolism. Concentration of uric acids uh, are within the reference range in these individuals. So hence the pseudogout is called as pseudogout because it represents uh, in symptomology uh, same as that of gout, but here the crystals are not of nucleic acid metabolism. Another important disorder which is related to the nucleic acid uh, metabolism, in particular here the uh, salvage pathway of uh, nucleic acid uh, synthesis is the Leach-Nyhan syndrome. It was discovered by the Leach and Nyhan and it is because of the defect in the salvage pathway where the enzyme affected is HGPRT, hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase. Because of the defect uh, is uh, there, the concentration of the substrates will be increased. It is an X-linked character uh, which is more manifested in males. So hypoxanthine as well as the uh, PRPP uh, and the guanine, all three will be uh, increased because of the defect in the conversion. When all three are uh, high in concentration, they are subjected to de novo pathway as well as to the degradation, which in turn uh, stimulates the uh, more and more production of uric acid and hence uh, lead to secondary gout. Leishnayan syndrome is an important kind of a syndrome because it uh, finally affects the neurological uh, well-being of an individual. The uh, neurological symptoms include spastry, aggressiveness, impulsive behavior and uh, self-mutilation. They have an um, inclination to bite their nails and the corners of their mouth. And there is a severe mental retardation as well in these individuals. There is another variant of the Leishnayan syndrome which is called as uh, Kelly similar syndrome. Uh, it also occurs due to HGPRT deficiency, but here the deficiency is uh, some much moderate than that of uh, Leishnayan syndrome. Leishnayan syndrome has high 
uh, deficiency whereas uh, kelly similar syndrome has uh, low deficiency usually represent about 15 percent of the igprt deficient patients and in them also in kelly similar syndrome also neurological uh, symptoms are less uh, severe than that of leish nayan syndrome as is true about any uh, x-linked character you can see in the accompanying figure uh, the defect uh, x-linked character which is uh, true for leish nayan syndrome as well here the mother is a carrier uh, containing one defective X-linked gene, which here it is uh, a GPRT defective gene. It will be able to pass it to its progeny and half of the daughters will be carriers and half of the sons will be affected. Another scenario uh, about the leish nyan syndrome is that if an unaffected father will marry an affected mother, uh, which is uh, just for the sake of understanding, here both x uh, chromosomes will carry a defective gene which will be passed to all of the sons so both sons or all of the sons will be uh, affected and will be a uh, leish nyan syndrome mix whereas all the daughters will be carriers another important disorder of the nucleic acid metabolism is the adenosine deaminase deficiency adenosine deaminase is utilized in the uh, purine degradation pathway where it causes the deamination of the adenosine moiety into the inosine moiety and uh, hence the deficiency of this enzyme will lead to the accumulation of the adenosine in its deoxy form and uh, deoxy adenosine then in turn causes the uh, increase in the uh, deoxy uh, ATP uh, moiety. What happens uh, is manifested as SID severe combined immunodeficiency syndrome and it's uh, highly uh, selective uh, for lymphocytes why it is toxic because of the highest uh, activity of ad is in these lymphocytes and resulting uh, adenosine accumulation uh, causes the conversion into the deoxy atp type this deoxy atp when increases in the concentration causes the inhibition of ribonucleotide reductase which in turn affects the dna synthetic capability of the lymphocytes of both lineages B as well as T. So both B and T cell are lacking in the immune system of the affected patient. Both of these are otherwise known to mediate much of an immune response. When both are absent in these patients, the immune response is not there and the lifespan of the uh, patient, such patient is very low and death usually occurs within two years of birth. These are sometimes uh, in immunology also called as the bubble boys. Another defect which is related to the nucleic acid metabolism is uh, seen in the autistic uh, spectrum disorders or autism patients is the overproduction of the purines in them. Almost 25% of the autistic patients usually produce uh, the purines in higher quantities than the normal beings. So in order to diagnose this uh, disease, we have to test the urine of a patient uh, over 24 hours for measuring the excretion of purines in particular and then compare it with the normal excretion. However, sometimes also uh, the urine uh, of these patients which have uh, autistic uh, spectrum uh, is usually uh, pink uh, in nature and that can be easily seen in the diapers. Oh, but as the autistic patient grows and in adolescence, these biochemical findings usually disappear. So it is easy and uh, relatively uh, recommended to obtain the urine specimen in infancy for uh, diagnosing the purine autism. Uh, otherwise, it becomes difficult to diagnose the autism related to the purines uh, overproduction as well. This was pretty much it about the disorders related to the nucleic acid metabolism. You can visit my Amazon page for the books from which I have made this lecture. And do subscribe to my channel uh, for further uh, videos which I will upload in due time.